G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo E595, also got the model number 20NFA000AU, model number over here too, but let's proceed. What I'm wanting to do is open this up to upgrade the RAM in it. Already undid one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. So those are all those screws seem to just stay in there. So hopefully that is the case. Let's pry this in there. There we go. It's a lot of noise, that's for sure. Pop. There we go, and we are in. From here, I can see a NVMe drive right here, or at least the space for an NVMe drive. Also see a hard drive, possibly SSD in here. So I'm curious what's going to be there. We have two RAM slots, we have a Wi-Fi adapter, and we... We'll be getting power via type C, so that'll be the port over here, so do not damage that, as it will be a board out repair. Here we have the board over here and its connection just here. Or well, the battery, not the board. I just want to take this hard drive out and see what's actually here. As I wasn't aware that there was meant to be another drive with this. What an odd little vacant shell. Not sure what its purpose is, at least yet anyway. But you can install a 2.5 inch drive if you like, along with the NVMe drive. That is a bit neat. So I go over to the NVMe drive over here. Should be able to undo this single screw. Yep. Screws. This should lift up. And here we have one SSD. Where are we? We're a PM991 256 gig model. And that should just be able to slide in on an angle and click down. You can change it to a full size NVMe if you do upgrade. There, down. A little thermal pad on the inside here too. Okay, just put in the groove here. Screw, two screw, excellent. Now looking at the RAM here, these tabs pull out. So pull these tabs out here and here, lifts up, pulls out. We have eight gig of PC4 2666. This little notch here will correspond to a notch here and one over here. So if I turn this down again and slide it in and pull down, that should be installed. Like there to there, push down, it shouldn't really go anywhere. You may potentially be able to upgrade the Wi-Fi card if they haven't, if Lenovo haven't blacklisted or whitelisted certain cards to work in there. Let's find another stick of RAM to go in there. Of which I've got a few. Four gig. Four. Four. Eight. Thirty-two hundred megahertz. Eight. Twenty-six sixty-six. Brilliant. Twenty-four hundred. Four gig. We've got here another eight thirty-two. So we'll go the twenty-six sixty-six. Might as well match the speed. Oh, then again. No, I don't think the 3500U would utilize any faster memory anyway, even if I put in 3200 megahertz. So I won't bother changing that. We'll just go with that. With that installed. Explain the NVMe. SSD is very similar to the NVMe. But with the RAM upgraded here, now running at 16 gig in dual channel mode, we'll get a neat little performance boost out of that. So from here, I should just be able to put the bottom cover back on. Should click in the position first. 
before I do the screws up, I will just boot it up and make sure it is uh, utilized that memory, or at least we'll see it as it is a secondhand stick of RAM. And then I'll proceed and put the Phillips head screws in from there. RAM tested out all good, booted up just fine. And all I need to do from here is put these screws back in and then click it around. So the screws themselves shouldn't come out, so they should just be staying there, ready for you to screw them back in. Like so. Hope that helps you, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.